Show me the smokers. All right, this please. Way. Wow, look at them. I mean, do you know what hurts more than anything? The fact that we we have the most amazing equipment, and yet the product is brisket, turkey, chicken, smoked in these. Then we slice it, bag it, chill it. Then we reheat it in the microwave. Right. Does that make sense? Could you have another, please? Wow, look at that. So how long have they been in? How long have they been cooking? Two yeah. and a half hours. So they went in two and a half hours ago. So they're ready for dinner. Yeah, right. ready. These. Little taste. Now. That's delicious. That's what I'm screaming for. They're, right. they're ready. They're All delicious. Right. We're reheating yesterday's wings, and they're just immaculate. Natalie, don't open the door and then disappear. I need to talk to you urgently. So we have Rolls Royce of smokers here. Pretty amazing. And you've got these that are literally minutes off the smoker. Right. And yet we can't hold them and serve. That's what we were trying to figure out. It's a no-brainer. Natalie hasn't proven to be able to run this restaurant. It's not any structure. It's just a bunch of guys doing their own things. That does not make sense. How much do those smokers cost? They Roughly. cost um, 17000 each. 17 grand each? Yes. So here you are, cooking to perfection and reheating the food in a $200 microwave. How does that make sense? While the fresh, tasty meat from the smoker gets held for another day, the kitchen sends out plate after plate of reheated food. Beef brisket. Not moist. And not surprisingly, there is disappointment in the dining room. Let's try. 